Statistics. Histograms for group data with unequal intervals. Part 2. You will find this on page 677 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at an example. Now in the previous example, we gave you the frequency and you constructed the histogram with the unequal intervals. Okay, now we're going to do re the reverse. We are going to give you the histogram and you are going to find the frequencies. Okay, let's look at the example. A group of children from Parisa Secondary School were asked how much money they had saved. The histogram and table shows the result. There it is. There's the table. Now do you notice that they only give you the first one, the frequency? That's the reason. Work with the first group because you have the frequency. Find the vertical scale, okay? So you're going to find this. Can you see you have the horizontal scale but you do not have the vertical scale? Okay, so let's start. This is very, very important. Let's just highlight it because it's very. The area of a rectangle is equal to the frequency. Very important. So that 25 is representing the area of this rectangle. Okay, now we are working with the first one. Can I just show you? Or we can even do it like this. This is the one that we were drawing here. So the area is 25. Now, we have the horizontal scale. What is the horizontal scale? It's 20, okay? So basically, this is 20 and we have the area. Now, how do we find the area of a rectangle? Length times breadth. So the area is going to be 25. The length, we are looking for the length, but we have the breadth. What is the breadth? 20. Now, just solve that equation. If it's multiply on this side, to get rid of this 20, we divide 20, divide 20, and the length will be 1.25. Okay, so what does this mean? This means that this year is 1.25, but I want to find this, 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 this. So what do I do? I count how many spaces. One, two, three, four, five. So I take the 1.25 and I divide it by 5. And that gives me 0, 0.25. So that means that is 0 0.25. And now you go in multiples of 0, 0.25. So that is 0 0.5. And so, so on. So remember that 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.75. Okay, and then it's going to be 1. Okay, and then 1.25. We can go on, and then it's 1.5, 1.75, and that top will be 2. Okay, so basically, that is why I was using this bar, okay, this rectangle, to just find this vertical scale. Because as soon as I have the vertical scale, I know that frequency is equal to the area of the rectangle. So if I want to find, and let's just highlight this one, if I want to find this one, I'm just going to say 10, can you see, multiply 2. Actually that's 2, multiply 10, and that's going to be 20. And if I want to find, so that's the value of P. And if I want to find Q, it's this one. So I'm just going to say 10. Can you see 10? 40 minus 30, it's 10. Multiply, can you see it's up to 1? So 10 multiply 1, it will just be 10. There, there is the 1, multiply 10. I just work with the small blocks and there's 4. Can you see? 1, 2, 3, 4 small blocks. And then the last one, it's going to be this one. Okay, and can you see now it's 10, 20, 30. So it's 30, multiply that, it's going to be 1, that's 1, and that, oh no, that's 0 0.5, sorry, 0 0.5 times 30, and that's going to give me 50. Okay, let's go to the next page. 
Stop the video and do try now 28 number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, remember again, they give you the frequency of the histogram, the frequency density and the age and they are wanting you to find the frequency. Okay, but let's first read. A doctor's patients are grouped by age as shown in the table and the histogram below. Can you see? Can you see the missing one? Okay. But can you see? Oh, again, they don't give you this scale, the vertical scale, but they give you the horizontal scale. They give you the frequency. So if you just take, remember, can I show you again before we start? We can always say that the area, remember, which is represented by the frequency, it's equal to length times breadth. So if I look at the first one, the frequency is 300. And what is the, oh, you can take the breadth, I'm looking for the length. And the breadth is 10. Just normal algebra, divide 10, divide 10. And what will the length be? 30. So where will the 30 stand? There will be 30. So if I, there's 1, 2, Okay, one, two, three blocks. So that will be 20. That will be, there in the middle, will be 10. And that's 40, 50, 60. Can you see that? Okay, but let's start with the question. Copy and complete the following. One square centimeter. Now, I'm going to make it even bigger that you can see very nicely. One square centimeter. It's going to be, and I'm going to mark, it's going to be there at 10. Okay. So if you look, it's going to be this. So I say one square represent how many patients. Remember, it's the frequency. So it's going to be the area of that. And the area of number that, the area, is just going to be length times breadth. And what is the length? Let's take, it doesn't matter. You can take this, the length, this, the brief, or otherwise, it doesn't matter. So 10 times 10, and what will that be equal? That will be equal to 100 patients. Okay. Now use your histogram. Let's just move it down a little bit. Use your histogram to find the value of A. Now, can you see where is, this is 600. Okay. Now, this is 600. Copy this way and draw the missing two rectangles. Okay, but, but let's first work on this one. This one, this two is missing. So if you look again, can you see what is that going to be? That's going to be 40. And what is that going to be? That's going to be 30. So if I look at number B and the area, remember, which is represented by the frequency, it's going to be length times breadth, which is going to be 40 times 30, and that is going to be 1200. Zero, zero. And that is the frequency, so that's 1200. Zero, zero. So therefore, the value of A is 1200. Zero, zero. Okay, then copy the histogram on graph paper and draw the missing two rectangles to complete the histogram. Now remember, this was 10 to 30. Can you see it's this space here? So let's just get our pen. Let's just get a straight line. And it's up to 600. But, but don't forget, it's the frequency. So can I just show you? And I'm going to say area. area. I just want to get my pen there. OK. I'm, I'm going to move it a little bit up just to get space to work here. A bit down, and I can see that. So, in this case, if I look at number C, okay, that was B. So, area is still, which is the frequency, length times breadth. So, the area is 600. And we're looking for the length, and I know the breadth. What is the breadth? 30 minus 10, that's going to be only 20. Can you see that? And then this, let's just move it here, then that length is going to be 600, zero, zero, divide that 20, and what is that going to be? That is going to be equal to 2 count 40. Can you see? 40. Okay. 
Okay, so basically, no, that's not going to be equal to 40. That's going to be equal to 30. Sorry, can I just correct that? Okay, so divide by 20 and that's going to be equal to 30. So it's going to be this and this and there is the bar. And then the next one, it's going to be again area equals length times breadth. Now the area is 8, 8, 0. And then I'm going to look at, let's just see the space, 100 minus 60 is 40. And then to find that length, I'm going to say 880 divide 40. And that is going to give me an answer of 20. Now, it's going to be a bit higher than 20. It's going to be 22. Okay, so that is going to give me an answer of 22. And if I want to find an answer of 22, can you see there's 20? Um, one small block is counting 2, so let's just get the straight line. So it's one block above, and it's going up to 100, up to there, and there, and then this. Okay, so it's not 20, it's going to be one block up and that's going to be 22. Because if 22 multiply that 40 will give me 880.